So here we are, rhythm guitar, and we want to talk about chord embellishments in the key of E. Usually, uh, for the acoustic guitar, uh, the key of E it's full of bar chords because the primary chords are okay, are E, right, and then goes to A, and then and then it goes to B. The five chord is B. That's a bar chord, and uh, and so for, for example, the B the B chord doesn't sound great on the acoustic guitar, and uh, and also the secondary chords are F sharp minor, and then we have the G sharp minor, that's a bar chord too, and C sharp minor, so another bar chord. And um, that's why when we play when we play a song in the key of E, usually we have a lot of bar chords. And uh, and since we like the acoustic guitar and we like to the sound of the open strings, right? That that's the main point about playing the acoustic guitar is the beauty of the and the nice tone of coming out uh, from the open strings. So so. Um, well, I just want to give you uh, some ideas to substitute those bar chords, and um, and and the first one. So let, let let me see. The first one is this. Instead of playing a regular A chord, we can play an A sus two, and we can use this fingering. So as you see, this is my ring finger. On the fourth string, second fret, and my pinky on the third string, second fret. Hey George, good to see you. So today we're talking about chord embellishments ideas in the key of E because we hate those bar chords and we love open strings. So again, so I'm showing you a, a few fingerings that you can use. And this is the result that we want to we want to This is what we want to do here. So let me show you these fingerings. They are very very easy and they sound great. They all sound great. So the first one is the instead of a regular A chord, right? We don't want to play that. We want to play an A sus2 and we want to use this fingering that is a little bit weird, but it's very very useful and you will see you will see why in a second. So again, I'm using my middle finger, a uh, ring finger, sorry, and my pinky here. Right? And then, and then, and then, this is the A chord. So instead of a regular A chord, usually we have a C sharp here on the second string. We just have the open B string instead. And uh, so that nice because when we go from E to A. The top E string and the B string doesn't change. You see? Sounds great. And by the way, look at my left hand here. I'm when I switch from E to A, right, this finger stays down, doesn't move. Maybe I just slide it back to to make some room for the pinky, but it's all. That's it, right? I, I hope you can see my hand here. So that's the A chord. And then we have the B chord, right? That's the, the, the dominant chord, so it's very important. Usually, well, yeah, we can play a B7, but let's say that we just need a regular B chord, and, and we just hate this. This is a terrible sound. So, so, well, you remember how to play A, right? So this is your A sus second chord fingering. Now you slide up that fingering two frets. So 
I went to the fourth fret here, right? Again, from the A chord, that is the second fret, I slide up to the fourth fret. And now I need my bass, and my bass is here on the fifth string second fret. And I need my index to play that. So, and this is the fingering, okay? And again, I have the first and the second string open. And this is an excellent substitution for a, a B chord. So this is my one chord, four chord, and my five. You see how easy it is? Super easy, right? So, okay, so back to the E chord now. And uh, I, I, can, I hope that everybody can hear me good and uh, let me know if you want to leave a comment. And by the way, if you want to uh, subscribe to my channel, if you are not a subscriber yet, make sure that you press the subscribe button and also click and hit the bell so you will get notifications every time I go live or every time I upload a new lesson and a new video okay so now le let's move on so so far we have the one chord the four chord and the five chord and that's enough to play a lot of songs right this is and thanks to the open strings, the first and the second open string, that they are gluing the sound. That drone is so nice for our ears, so sweet. And and that chord progression sounds much better using this fingering as opposed to right. Okay, now let's see what we can do if we move the if we move the B chord, this fingering up two frets. That will be my C sharp minor chord. Okay, so that's the sixth chord. And again, usually we play a bar chord, right? C sharp minor. And now you see. The pinky and the middle finger, uh, ring finger, are still in the same place. I need a bass here, C sharp, and that's a nice sounding C sharp minor. Actually, you know, it's not really exactly a C sharp minor, but it's a C sharp minor for us. That's good enough. And uh, hey, Franco. Welcome, good to see you. So again, this is a C sharp, and it's a very useful, a common chord in a E, in a E, in a, in a song in the key of E. All right, so so far we have E. Again, we have A, sus so two. We have a B chord, the five chord, and then we have the C sharp minor chord. And um, now let's see what happens to the F sharp minor and the G sharp minor. And uh, for example, here we we can play instead of a full bar here, the F sharp minor, we can play an A sus two. So just you see the A sus two. So two fingers down, and then you add your middle finger on the second fret of the last string. The fifth string is muted and is muted by the flash the pad of my middle finger here. And this is a very cool substitution. So instead of playing a, the bar chord F sharp minor, I'm playing this and it sounds much better. And now, 
And now this is this is gonna be easy now if we move that finger in two frets up like this, this is a G sharp minor. And again we can use that instead of the, the bar chord. The G sharp minor here. So now if we put those three chords together. how good that sounds instead of all right so now I, I think that uh, it's about time to put all of these fingerings together and uh, let's play something like this I want to play um, E F sharp minor G sharp minor and then I want to play A B and C sharp minor okay so we just go we follow the, the the scale right E F sharp G sharp A B C sharp so just the E major scale so here we go That doesn't sound great because uh, we need some kind of rhythm. So let's do something like this. What about that? Okay. Maybe after that C sharp minor we we go back to the five chord because the five chord is the dominant chord so it sounds uh, it's like it is nicer if we go before going back to the one we we, we play the five chords like this about that you like it I, I hope so and uh, and if we play the regular chords this is the sound have a much wider sound that is also very I don't know it's inspiring okay so now let me show you the, this if you use this chord progression actually you can play a, a full song by Bob Dylan that's called uh, I shall I shall be released uh, if you think think about the, the chorus I see my light. a cool song and uh, it, it's in the key of, if you listen to the version uh, with the band uh, from the movie the last waltz they are playing the song in the key of E of E major and you can use these fingerings instead of using all bar chords and it's gonna sound much better let me do it again F sharp G sharp A B E F sharp Without me singing it's much better
right, so that's all for today. And I hope you, you enjoy these chord embellishments in the key of E. And uh, again, if you, if you like the lesson, give it a like, please. And uh, again, if you are not a subscriber yet, uh, su subscribe to my channel. You're very welcome. And, um, and uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the, the bell to be notified when I go live next. And also, if you wanna, if you wanna check my my courses, I have some video lessons on, and that you can find on Truefire. I'm teaching on Truefire, and so you can have one-on-one -on -one lessons. You can uh, enroll uh, to my channel. I have a flat picking channel. And um, ciao, Davide. And so, yeah, just uh, I will put all of the links in uh, down below in the description. So again, w thank you everyone and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.